So now we will try to set the link between the current account and capital accounts. So we start with the equation NI minus NS equals export minus import. NI means national income. NS means national spending, yeah? Is it right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the difference between national income and national spending is equal to the, the difference between export and import. That's true. Export means earnings, inflows, and import means spending. So we can say, so the difference between export and import is our current account balance. Already we have explained this, yes? Current account balance means what? The difference between export and? Import. Import. Now we can combine our equation number 5.3 earlier and 5.4. So if you combine these two, then we have equation number 5.5. What we have S minus I equals the difference between exports and imports. So S minus I so S means what? Savings, can you remember? S means what? Savings. Savings. So if you deduct your investment from savings and still you have surplus, that is our net foreign investment. Am I right? If you have investment from savings and the rest is your net foreign, investment. We can also say net foreign investment is the balance of export and import. So how can we present this? If your current account is in surplus, current account is in surplus means your export is more than import. The nation must be a net exporter of capital. So net exporter of capital as a multinational corporate finance student you can conclude to the following points that if current account is in surplus what means inflows is more than outflows we can say the nation must be a net exporter of capital if current account is a deficit means outflows is more than inflows the nation is a major capital importer. When N is greater than N I, the X national savings is greater than national income. The excess must be acquired through foreign trade. Here, if it's a national spending, if we say N S means national spending, if your national spending is more than national investment, then the excess must be acquired through foreign trade. Solutions for improving current okay. account deficits. So that solutions you have already explained in many ways. We have organized a debate where we have current account deficits. And why we organize the debate? Because we want to see the implications of current account deficits. Long time current account deficits, uh, that is not good. And long time current account surplus, also may not be good for the economy. So economy will react as per the requirement, as per the requirement of the uh, country's policies or, or, or rules and regulations. But there are some solutions you have. We, we propose some solution here. So solution for improving current account deficits, because again, we say how long a country will continue as a deficit country. So there are some solutions. How can we do this? One is raising national income related to domestic investment. There's one solution. The country can take measures to increase national income related to domestic investment. So when you can meet domestic investment necessities from your national income, you are in a break-even point. 
and if after meeting if you have more national income then you will have a surplus you can increase as relative to domestic investment so you can increase your savings related to domestic investment now what should be the right measures to do this that is again a matter of discussion so you can spend more time on this to find out critical solutions of how we can do this uh, there are some other solutions in so many countries we have seen uh, coping with the currency account deficit. One is currency depreciation. We know the depreciation and appreciation we have covered earlier. On a day, that is mudra ke durbol kore day, durbol kore day kano jate that is export bari. E potu tito amra jani na. Amun kono desh ke amader ase porsche ase jara that is currency. China sir, China. Amra ni jare ase sir. Amra ni jare ase na. 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 আমরা তো আর ফিক্স এক্সচেঞ্জ রেট ব্যবহার করি না কিন্তু যে সকল দেশ ফিক্স এক্সচেঞ্জ রেট ব্যবহার করে তারা আমাদের চাইতে ভালো করছে এগুলো আর চায়না তার মধ্যে নাম্বার ওয়ান আরেকটা পদ্ধতি হচ্ছে প্রোটেকশনিজম প্রোটেকশনিজম গভর্নমেন্ট ইন্টারভেনশন গভর্নমেন্ট হস্তক্ষেপ করেও পরিস্থিতির পরিবর্তন ঘটাতে পারে গভর্নমেন্ট যদি পলিসি করে বিলাস দ্রব্য আমদানি বন্ধ করে দেয় অনেকগুলো দ্রব্যের উপর এম্বার্গো জারি করে তখন অবস্থাটা কি হবে चाहले समाधान पोछाते कमाते प्रोटेक्शनिजम पद्धतर कथा जान जेम सर निषेध कर ले समस्या होते अन्न देश तो व्यवस्था नीते फले क्रिटिकल चिंता समाधान करते हैं जेमन अनेक समय टेरिफ आरोप करा जो पे शुल्क आरोप करा जो पे कोटा प्रथा सृष्टि जो पे प्रोटेक्शनिजम जो भाव क्या करें टेरिफर माध्यम कोटार माध्यम और ये टेरिफ ए कोटा आरोप कर लेटोमेटिकाली যে সকল আমদানির উপর প্রচুর শুল্ক দিতে হয় সেগুলো আমদানি কমে যায় অথবা আমদানি নির্দিষ্ট পরিমাণ করা যাবে এর বেশি করা যাবে না এভাবেও নিয়ন্ত্রণ করা যায় সো চাইলে আমরা কিছু ম্যাচেস ব্যবহার করে আমাদের কারেন্ট অ্যাকাউন্ট ডেফিসিট জনিত যে প্রবলেম সেই প্রবলেমগুলো সলভ করতে পারি 